We had the release of two very important clinical trials that are two phase three trials in the second line, meaning that patients that had received at least one line of prior therapy, like sunedenib or pazdopanib, were enrolled in clinical trial, the first one being cabozantinib, a dual VGF plus MET inhibitor versus Everolimus, one of the standard of care in second line, and the second trial being an immunotherapy compound, nivolumab, versus Everolimus in second line as well. And what is important to understand here is that those two trials are positive. They met their primary endpoint, and they are going to change the standard of care for patients. We now have two new agents that are coming into the game as potential second line therapy for metastatic RCC. The first one is cabozantinib. It demonstrates a benefit for patients in progression-free survival and a very nice trend in overall survival, but the data are not mature enough. And the second one is nivolumab. And this agent is a new class of agent, as I was stressing. It's an inhibitor of the checkpoint, as we've seen in other tumor type and it demonstrates a benefit in overall survival. And this is extremely important with a benefit that is in the range of additional five months of overall survival for patients. I believe that the physician, uh, once these agents will be approved and available in Europe, for instance, will have to um, first get used to those new agents in terms of safety profile and daily management. But the question of the sequence is crucial. And I believe that we don't have yet enough data to be able to uh, really guide our patients toward one compound or another one, now that we have several options in second line. And the next round of clinical trial, I hope, will uh, better define what's the optimal strategy and what are the uh, patient's profile that should guide us toward one compound or another one.